Oh, hey guys, welcome to Channel 2S. I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and today we're going to be finishing up the build of the high grade Universal Century GM ground type. So, today is unfortunately one of those days where there just isn't anything new to talk about when it comes to news. So, while I'm taking the parts for this, uh, this leg off the runner, I'm going to talk a little bit about some of the upcoming March kits. So, I actually want to talk a little bit first about the Amazing Strike Freedom because this is a kit that I thought look really ugly all the way up until the last batch of pictures we got because now it actually looks kind of good however it's still probably not going to be a March purchase for me just because there's so many other kits that are coming out this month that I am really looking forward to like the gold frame Estrella Matsumina custom holy crap that gold frame that thing that thing looks almost beautiful the only thing that's annoying me is of course the frame is the wrong kind of gold, but that's kind of something you have to expect with a uh, mass retail release kit from Bondi, especially if it's a real grade, since those frames do not take paint very well. I can see why they went this route with it. Kind of a bummer, but everything else in this kit just looks so awesome. And then he's got all those new weapons and stuff that I honestly didn't even know the gold frame had, like that uh, kind of orange energy shield. Actually, a lot of the weapons that they're including with this were uh, completely unfamiliar to me, since I have actually not read the part of the Estray manga that th this kit comes from. And then probably the last kit that I'm going to pick up in March, although not the one I'm least excited for. I'm actually pretty excited for this one, the High Grade Atlas Gundam. It looks like a really fun Gundam design. It's got a lot of cool stuff going on. I really hope those sub-arms are going to be strong enough to hold up the uh, pontoons, though. So interestingly enough, the ankle for this kit is actually a single piece instead of the typical kind of two-piece sandwich that I'm used to seeing on these kits, so that's kind of interesting. So it looks like this polycap's just gonna drop down there. Oh, I think it's... is it in? Nope, it's crooked. Okay, so it's a little awkward getting that polycap in there, but it should pop in just like that. And then this goes over the back of it just like that. So we got the heel right here, then you add the toes, and you cap it off with the top of the foot, and the foot is almost done. We just need to add these little ankle guards, which just clip around here. And did I have these on right? Yes, I do. Good. And then in a very similar fashion to the elbows, for the knees, we're just going to take these three pieces and pop them together. And then the cap goes over the top to make a sealed up joint. There's a poly cap that goes over this right here. And these two pieces go together to make the ankle connection. Now we're going to take a quick pause from building the leg to put together a beam saber so that we can take that beam saber and attach it to the inside of this leg armor piece right here. Yeah, it just tabs in right here. Okay. And then this kind of plugs on over here, and does this have an actual... How does this work? Because I know it's supposed to hinge open. Does it like... Okay, so it pops up and you kind of have to... Okay, yeah, there's not really like a real hinge here. You kind of have to like pop it off and pop it back on. A little bit disappointing. Was kind of hoping there'd be a bit more to that, but... Again, this is a high grade, so... While it is being very impressive in uh, some regards, it does still have some of those unfortunate drawbacks that... Uh, this grade tends to have. So uh, while I've been talking, I've just been putting together the lower leg right here. He's got a very, very chunky, chunky calves right here. And we're going to take these two pieces, pop them together like that. So those little gray nubs are going to come through here. I just said that this guy, you know, is a high grade, so you shouldn't expect much. But that's not something I was expecting to see in a high grade. That is pretty awesome. And uh, from what I've seen of the Master Grade GM Sniper 2, uh, it could have used some of that level of color separation. So now we're just going to take the uh, thigh armor and slide it over the leg frame, which is a very familiar action if you've built pretty much any of the high-grade Universal Century kits from the last couple years, since this seems to be the direction they're going with the leg builds. And they're actually pretty much all the newer high grades are built the same way now, which I'm not really complaining about. It makes them a little more intuitive to build, and it's not a bad uh, body design at all, so I'm not complaining. But yeah, these just go together like this, and that's uh, this looks like it's just how the leg connector is made. And then we can take the uh, ankle guard, and this connector goes in here. And there's a sticker that's supposed to go right here. And the sticker is on, and now we're just going to plug the ankle 
into the leg just like that and I believe that is the entire leg for the ground GM and he's got actually pretty okay ankle movement I mean obviously it's not a lot of side to side unfortunately that seems to be the case for most Gumpla I found but uh, if we take Mr. Ground GM here and we pop on his leg he's looking pretty good so I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna go ahead and build the other leg and then when I come back we are going to work on the weapons so already this kit is just super fun to pose I'm having a great time with this kit already but you know what would make him even better? Some weapons. So one thing that's super weird about this kit is here you can see I'm holding up runners D1 and D2. But they're actually the same runner. D1 run and D2 are one and the same. That is so weird. So normally if I'm building the weapons I would start with the beam sabers but we already built them and they are hiding out in this guy's legs right here. Oh and by the way there are a couple little yellow triangular stickers or Actually, these aren't even yellow, they're white, actually, but little triangular stickers you're supposed to put on there. Forgot to put them on earlier, so I stuck them on right now. And since there's no real build for the beam sabers, I'm just going to take these uh, effect parts and just throw them off to the side with his open hand. So we'll just move on to the rifle and attach the barrel to one side of it, just like so. Then combine it with the other half, stick the little side handle on, fold it in, and then we're going to take that uh, sort of bar that goes along the back. Stick both sides in, be careful not to break it, because this is made out of a very, very soft plastic, so of course you don't want that snapping on you. And then, we have one of those lovely ammo clips that I showed you earlier on the legs that goes down here, and I was really surprised to see this, because I truly thought when I was looking at the box, that this was one of those things you're going to have to paint. But no, that looks really good. And then going one step higher on the weapon scale, we have the net launcher, and the first step of building the net launcher is to just stick this little handle in here, so that way you can then take these two halves, stick them together, then take this piece, put it on here, take this piece, put it on here, put this pretty awesome looking piece here on the back, and take this piece and put it right here, and then just like with the rifle, side handle goes on here, and then you got yourself a finished net launcher. And the rocket launcher is built very similarly, you pop the handle in here, you pop the other half of the launcher onto the other one just like with the other two weapons. Now you can just take these two pieces, clip them together to make the uh, ammo magazine and then drop that right down in here and that can be taken off or put back on however you choose, whenever you want, which is really cool and not something I'm used to seeing on high grades but uh, definitely glad to see it here. Then the tip just goes on like that and then lastly you stick this little end cap on the back and then there you go, complete a rocket launcher. The handle can wiggle a little bit. The uh, ammo magazine comes out. And if you uh, look in here, you could do a little bit of painting in there if you want to kind of accentuate those little rockets. And now to start on his final weapon, or rather his defense, we're going to put together these two pieces to start the shield. And then attach this gray piece to the underside. And I always like it when the uh, shield on a high grade has a gray underside. It's not something you'll always see in high grades, but it's becoming more and more common nowadays. And I'm very happy to see that. This piece is gonna clip in right here. This piece is gonna kinda drop down over that other hinge and tab in right there. This piece is gonna lock in right here. And then finally, you take the stand part, you clip it in right here, and of course you could have it down like that, have a shield standing, or you could fold it up and attach it to his arm. Wow. So this is the GM ground type, all armored up. Now I'm going to save my major thoughts on this kit for the final review that should be coming up in the next couple days, but right now I am just going to say that this kit surprised me. It really did. Like, I knew it was going to be a pretty good kit going in. I'd heard some good stuff about it, but wow. I cannot wait to tell you guys about how just how awesome this kit is, but that's going to have to wait for another time because we are at the end of tonight's video. So as always, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, and if you're new to Channel 2S, I do all sorts of Gunpla-related videos, such as news, reviews, unboxings, and builds like the video you just saw. And if that sounds like something you want to see more of, be sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I'm your host, Second Soundwave, and I'll see you next time.